over to Percy's park. Percy the park keeper is planning a treasure hunt. All his animal friends are to follow a trail of clues around the park and the first one to reach the end will find the treasure. The animals are so excited that they can't wait for the hunt to begin. Hi boys and girls, it's Mr Paul here and I'm going to read you a bedtime story from Nick Butterworth. It's all about Percy the park keeper and the treasure hunt. Good morning, said Percy the park keeper, as he stepped out of his hut. In his hand, Percy was holding some posters, which he just made. He pinned one of them on his door. What does it say? said one of his rabbit friends. Oh, I'm sorry, said Percy, and he read out aloud. I am organising a treasure hunt. All those who would like to come to meet at the bandstand after breakfast tomorrow morning, signed Percy. Me. I want to come, said the badger. So do I, said the fox. What is it? It's a game, said Percy. One person goes off and leaves a trail of clues for the others to follow. The clues are messages, and one clue leads to the next one until you find the treasure at the end. I can read a bit, said the fox. He and the other animals stared at one another of Percy's posters. Percy smiled as he noticed they were holding it upside down. I'll do drawings instead of messages, he said. Next morning, when the animals met together, there was no sign of Percy. They thought that Percy must have forgotten, until one of the squirrels noticed something. Look, there's a piece of paper with a picture on. It could be a clue. The squirrel was right. On the paper, Percy had drawn a picture of a seesaw. That must be where we have to go first, said the badger. They hurried over to the playground. Sure enough, another piece of paper had been pinned to the seesaw. I'll get it, said one of the mice, and he scampered up the seesaw. This time Percy had drawn a picture of a statue. I know where that is, said a rabbit. Follow me. And off they went again. By now, Percy had put nearly all his pieces of paper in place. He whistled as he walked along a favourite path at the edge of the park. Only two left, said Percy, as he tucked one of his clues into a crack in a signpost. He stopped for a moment, gazed over the field which lay beyond the park. Percy reached into his pocket and was pleased to find some chocolate. It was chocolate money wrapped in gold paper. A good job I brought a snack, said Percy. I'm feeling quite peckish. Slowly he ate every piece of the chocolate. Then Percy realised what he'd done. He had eaten the treasure. <coughs> the animals were having great fun. Percy trails of clues led them all over the park. The seesaw, the statue, the tool shed and the bridge. In every place they found a picture showing them where to go next. But now, as they searched for a clue around a signpost at the edge of the park, it didn't seem quite so easy. Bother, said the badger. I can't see a clue anywhere. The fox kept looking at the signpost. He was sure they were trying to tell him something. I wonder, he muttered to himself. Suddenly the fox announced, This signpost is the next clue. We have to follow it. But it leads out of the park, said the hedgehog. It was too late. The fox had already set off. The others looked at each other. Then they followed after him. The fox led them across a field. In the middle, there stood a tall tree, which had been struck by lightning. Further on, there was a cattle shelter, 
Something was moving behind it. It looks like Percy, said the fox. That must be where he's putting the treasure. The animals rushed at the cattle shelter. It wasn't Percy, but there was something there. And the something said, Moo! It was a young calf. Moo! said the calf loudly again. The animals squealed and ran in fright towards the tree in the middle of the field. The calf chased after them. She wanted to play. The animals scrambled up the tree as fast as they could. They didn't like this game at all. What do we do now? He was answered by someone who had been watching it all. Lucy the calf was very friendly. When the animals had calmed down and been properly introduced, she gave them a ride across the field to the park fence. Everyone chatted happily as they bumped along. We didn't find the treasure, said the fox, but we found a friend. Percy coughed and wiped the corner of his mouth with his handkerchief. And don't you think friends are better than treasure? he said. Well, said the hedgehog, I think they're about the same. Percy smiled. I think you're right, he said. Isn't it lovely when you get to share a very special story with some very special friends? Talking of which, boys and girls. Hello, my rabbit friend. Do you bring some news? No, I don't believe him. What's that? Next week? The next bedtime story? No, he's, he's done one already. Mr. Breslin, boys and girls, will be reading the bedtime story with you next week. Oh, what a joy that is to look forward to for the next week. Take care for now, boys and girls. Bye-bye.